Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for pattern number 709. This is the easy springtime dishcloth. Now it's the middle of winter here in central Pennsylvania and I thought, what can I do to cheer myself up? It's cold and I just wanted to do something fun and cheerful. So I went to Hobby Lobby a few weeks back and purchased this Crafter Secret Cotton in these beautiful, bright, springtime Easter colors and thought I'm just going to whip up a quick and easy dishcloth just to bring some brightness and color into my kitchen. So this is a free pattern. I do have the link in the description box underneath the video. You can just click that link and you can go right to my website, download that pattern for free and follow along with this crochet tutorial. I'll be right back and I'll show you everything you need to start this project. So for today's project, you're going to need one ball of the Crafter Secret Cotton or two ounces of whatever cotton yarn you like to use to make dishcloths. I was at Hobby Lobby and I picked up some of this Crafter Secret Cotton. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It is a two ounce ball. It's 57 grams, 95 yards, 86 meters. It's 100% cotton and it's a four medium weight yarn. I just thought these were the perfect color for spring and Easter coming up to just refresh your kitchen. Now this yarn cost me $2.29, but if you go on the weeks that Hobby Lobby has their 30% off their yarn sale, then you can get this at 30% off. You just have to know which week that you're going to go to get that discount on the yarn. So for today's video, I'm going to use this pink. This is color number 182 Candy Pink. This is the one I'm going to use. This is color 184 Ice Mint. Look how beautiful that works up. Here's the pink. The pink one's not done yet, but this is how that uh, 182 Candy Pink works up. And then I have this color, which this is 188 Iced Lemon. So you can see how beautiful all those colors look for spring. So grab your cotton yarn and you're also going to need a size H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get started. I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just use a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer. We're going to start and we're going to chain 27. You're going to yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, that creates your first chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two. Yarn over, pull through, that's three. Continue until you have a chain with 27 chains. I'll meet you there and we'll start row one. I have my chain with 27 chains and now we're going to start row one. We're going to skip the first chain and remember that loop on your hook does not count as a chain. The first chain is right underneath the loop on your hook. So we're going to skip that first chain, insert into the second chain, and work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through that chain, you have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a single crochet. So for row one, we're going to work one single crochet in each chain across. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Continue and work one single crochet in each chain across and I'll meet you at the end of row one. I'm over at the end of row one. You should have a total of 26 single crochet. You started in the second chain from hook and worked one single crochet in each chain across. So if you start with the chain 27, you should have one less stitch than your starting chain. So a total of 26 single crochet. So now we're going to go ahead and start row two. Now row one is the base row. Rows two and three will be your repeat rows. 
So let's begin. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now this beginning chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to yarn over, you're going to skip that chain one, and you're going to go into the very first single crochet stitch of the row. Insert underneath the top two loops of that first single crochet, work a half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, you have three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. That is how you do a half double crochet. So now we're going to work a crossed half double crochet across the row to within the last stitch. So if you're more experienced, you can go ahead and work ahead and then just jump ahead on the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip the next stitch, work a half double crochet into the next stitch, and then we're going to jump back and work a half double crochet into that first stitch that we skipped. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip that next stitch, insert into the next stitch going under both of those top loops, work a half double crochet, yarn over, pull through that stitch, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to jump back to the stitch that we skipped, you're going to yarn over, you're going to bring your hook to the front of the work, and you're going to insert from front to back, and you're going underneath the top two loops of that stitch. So make sure you have both loops and work a half double crochet. Yarn over, pull back through that stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. You just made your crossed half double crochet. So let's do it again. Again, this is the start of the repeat. You're going to yarn over, skip that next stitch, insert into the next stitch going under both of those top two loops, work a half double crochet. You're going to yarn over, you're going to jump back to that skip stitch, bringing your hook across the front of your work, insert right underneath those top two loops, of that stitch, you can see you want to catch both those loops, work a half double crochet. Your cross half double crochet is made. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to come back to that skip stitch that you just skipped, insert from front to back, and work a half double crochet. Your half double crochet cross stitch is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch, work a half double crochet into the next stitch, and then you're going to come back and work a half double crochet into that skip stitch. Repeat that across to within the last stitch. I'll meet you there and show you how to finish the row. I'm over at the end of row two. This is what your work should look like. You started with a half double crochet. You worked a crossed half double crochet across your work and now we're over to our very last stitch. You have one stitch remaining. We're going to go ahead and work a half double crochet into this last stitch. Yarn over, insert underneath the top two loops of that last stitch work a half double crochet. Row two is finished. So now we're going to do row three. So let's begin. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip this beginning chain one and you're going to insert under the top two loops of this first half double crochet stitch. Insert underneath the top two loops, work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull underneath those two loops. You have two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across the row. 
insert underneath the top two loops of that next stitch, work a single crochet. Now when you're working this row, after you do those crossed half double crochets, it's better to turn your work and make sure you're getting into those top two loops. Because when you look at this, sometimes the side of this stitch looks like a stitch. You want to make sure you're going into the very top of the stitch. So make sure you turn it slightly towards you and see the top of those stitches. Insert under the top two loops of that next stitch work a single crochet. Again, turn your work slightly, look for those top two loops, insert into the top two loops, work a single crochet. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across the row and I'll meet you at the end of row three. I'm over at the end of row three and I always stop before I do my last stitch just to make it clear to my new crocheters out there of where to start and end the row because most of the time when a new crocheter is learning that is where they make the most mistakes is not knowing where and how to start and end the row. So when you're looking at your work you can see we have one stitch remaining so here is a stitch you can see by the post of the stitch. This was our chain one that does not count as a stitch but if you turn your work you can see that you have one stitch remaining by looking for that heart or horseshoe shape right here. So you're just going to insert into the top two loops of that last stitch work a single crochet. And when you look at your work and count your stitches, you should have a total of 26 single crochet across your row. So row three is finished. So now what you wanna do is you're going to click back on the video and you're going to repeat rows two and three a total of 10 more times. So you're repeating the crossed half double crochet row and then the single crochet row 10 more times and that will be rows 4 through 23 and I'll meet you at the end of row 23 and we'll start our border. I'm over at the end of row 23. This is what your work should look like. You can see that you have your single crochet rows and then your crossed half double crochet rows. And when you get to the end of row 23, you'll have a single crochet ending row. So now we're getting ready to start our border. Again, we just finished row 23. We're over here at the end of row 23. So we're going to begin round one of the border by chaining one. You're going to turn your work. We're going to skip this beginning chain one and we're going to work a half double crochet into this first single crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert right into the first single crochet. So here's your chain one. You're going to drop down right into that first stitch under both loops, work a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch and you're going under both loops, work a half double crochet. We're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner. Yarn over, insert into that next stitch, work a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a half double crochet. Continue and work one half double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner. I'll meet you there and we'll start our second side of our border. I just worked one half double crochet across each stitch across the top of my dishcloth. So when you get to the end of the row, I'm over at my last stitch. You can see that horseshoe shape or that little heart shape. I'm just going to work a half double crochet into the last stitch across the top of my dishcloth. And then we're going to chain two to form our corner. One and two. You're going to turn your work and now we're going to begin working down the length of our dishcloth. 
So for this side, we're going to work one half double crochet into the end stitch of each row down the length. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over and we're going to go right back into that same stitch that we just worked in. So we're going to work right into the top of that row and stitch, work a half double crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into the half double crochet row and stitch. Yarn over, insert right around the post of that half double crochet row and stitch, and work a half double crochet. Now you can see the single crochet row and stitch, and if you're not sure, just look for those stitches. You can see them running right down here, so that's the row and stitch right here. You're going to yarn over, insert into that single crochet row and stitch, work a half double crochet. So let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, you're going to insert right into that end half double crochet right around the post of that stitch, work a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, here's the row end stitch, insert into that single crochet row, work a half double crochet. And that's all there is to working down the length. I'll show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, you're going to look for that cross double crochet row. It ends with one single half double crochet. You're going to insert underneath and around the post of that ending half double crochet. Work a half double crochet. Now you're going to look for that single row end stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert right into the end on the edge of that single crochet row end and work a half double crochet. Continue and work one half double crochet in each row end stitch across to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I just worked down the side of our dishcloth, right down the length in those row end stitches. You should have one half double crochet in each row end stitch down the length. And now I'm over to the corner and I have one row end stitch left to go. I'm going to yarn over, insert into that last row end stitch down the length, work a half double crochet. Now we're going to form our corner. We're going to chain two one and two. We're going to turn our work and now we're going to start working across the foundation chain of our row. So because we worked a stitch around this post of this stitch, this chain here is very hard to get into. So I'm just going to work my half double crochet right into that same space that we worked our last half double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same space, work a half double crochet. Now we're going to work one half double crochet in each chain across that foundation chain or if it's easier follow that stitch right down to the base and into the chain at the base of each stitch across. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, work a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, work a half double crochet. I'll show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain, which is right at the base of that stitch, work a half double crochet. Continue and work one half double crochet in each chain across to the next corner, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at that last chain on my foundation chain, so I'm going to work a half double crochet into that last chain across, yarn over, insert into that last chain, work a half double crochet. We're going to chain two for our corner, and then we're going to turn our work. Now we're going to repeat what we did on the other side of our work. We're going to work one half double crochet in each row end stitch down to the next corner. You're going to yarn over, 
we're going to insert right into that same row and stitch that we just did our stitch and we're going to work a half double crochet yarn over insert into the next half double crochet row work a half double crochet yarn over insert into the next single crochet row work a half double crochet and you're just going to repeat that across your row so let's do it again you're going to yarn over insert into that next row and stitch work a half double crochet yarn over insert into the next row and stitch work a half double crochet continue and work one half double crochet in each row and stitch down your length and I'll meet you at the next corner I'm over at the end of round one and I just want to come over before I finish and I worked my last half double crochet here and then we have one row remaining so for my first timers this might be a little confusing when you're looking at your work not knowing where to start or stop so here is that first half double crochet we made so always look for your first stitch and then here is that first row and stitch of the row when we started round one. So this would be our last row and stitch around that we're going to work in. So don't go up here. This is the first stitch of round one. So you want to go into the base of that first stitch. You're going to yarn over. You're going to insert into that next row and stitch, which is at the base of the first half double crochet and work your half double crochet. So now we're going to finish by making our corner. You're going to chain two, one, two. To finish our dishcloth, we're going to join with a slip stitch right into the top of this first half double crochet. So you're going to insert your hook under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to fasten off. Now I like to fasten off leaving a little bit longer length. That way I can use my yarn needle and really weave that in and then trim it when I'm done. I chain two, one, two. I pull my hook up and pull that yarn out. Grab my yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot and then I'll secure this and weave it in onto the back through those stitches of my dishcloth. So my dishcloth is finished and when I measure it, it measures eight inches across and then when you measure it from top to bottom, it should measure eight inches. So a perfect square, just a great size for doing dishes and cleaning up the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed today's pattern, the easy springtime dishcloth. Just a great way to freshen up the kitchen with these beautiful spring Easter colors. And also, it's a great craft show favorite that you can make and change up those dishcloth patterns to bring something new and fresh to your craft table. Happy crocheting, everyone!